parent was asking about was the teachers looked like me and him, you know? There were black male teachers, there were females, there was diversity, and it was something that I didn't remember having in middle school. I didn't remember having that in high school, and I thought it was important for him to see. But now there's a change in him because I remember, you know, he didn't like math. Now he likes math at my home. His grades have gone up. His English scores have gone up. He's running track. He's participating. He's come out of his shell, he's sort of shy, quiet. He still is that kind of guy. But now, for the teachers, and Mr. Chu knows, <laughs> he's come out of himself, you know, and we're walking down the street and he's asking me questions out the blue, like, whose side are we on, Martin or Malcolm X? And I'm like, where are you getting this from? <laughs> and he's like, oh, we were talking about it.
your list because no one ever shows up and asks, how can I help you? They don't. I don't need you coming for a ribbon cutting ceremony. I appreciate when y'all did, but <laughs> that's over. And my kids have real needs and they wanna learn and they wanna know that they could be you in 10 or 15 years, yeah. period. Such an honor, and I want to do more, man. But you from Philly, though, right? I'm from Brooklyn, man. What? Nah, I thought you... Okay, wait, 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 Oh, my fault, my... Hold on. Yeah, yeah, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, yes, indeed. Heights, man. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Link the place between Auburn and Troy. Oh, right, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. Albany Projects, all of that. Okay, okay. Lincoln DJ Scratch. DJ Scratch. St. John's. DJ Clark Kent, all of them cats, Okay, okay, okay. Tonight means tenacity, commitment, and global warning. Mm. And the reason why I say warning is because my cousin is doing a whole lot for this community, and she is going to definitely blow up because she cares about the kids that much that they're going to feel her presence. So she's going to bring global warning. My name is Sine, and I'm Nadia Lopez's daughter. And I'm so proud of her for this book. She's been working so hard in Brownsville, and for her to get this opportunity is so great. And I just want to, I just want to, that's what I wanted to say. But I'm very proud of her. And, you know, she's been doing this for almost seven years. So I'm just so grateful for her to have this opportunity right now. Did you help out in the writing process of this book? No, that was all her. Okay. That was all her. She's very, she's very creative. So are you? I was there for support. Okay, uh, are you, do you have a book coming out? No, no. No, I'm just, I'm all about the school. I'm all about school, you know. And I see how the book takes up, like, a lot of time. So, I think I'll leave that up to her. Did you read the book? Yes, I'm reading it. I'm in the process of reading it, but, you know. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. I, it is. What are your future goals? Any any, any advice that you have to the, the kids out here, your peers, anything about education? And, and... Well, first, you know, it's all about the books, number one. Two, it's like, with education, make sure you always, like, um, with education, you always have to make sure that you're invested in it. And um, make sure, like, you're, it, like, with friends or whatever, don't let your friends bring you down because it's your education at the end of the day. You're wasting it by hanging out with people that, you know, are not being invested in theirs. Word is bomb. Thank you. Wow. This is the end of the day. Like, I mean, how do you do this? You got to work tomorrow? I do, but this is what I do every day. Wow, I ain't going to lie. You do do it. Like, at first I thought, you know, like, some people do it for a couple of days. Um, the endurance. Where do you get your endurance from? You didn't run track or nothing? I did. Oh, you did? Oh. I did. Um, I did play volleyball, but the endurance comes from having strong feet. Um, the endurance comes from the children. The endurance comes from the fact that others have done this before me, so I have no excuses not to get it done. The book, um, what inspired you to write the book? 
a story needed to be told and I needed to be the one to tell it. It's about controlling your own narrative and highlighting the positive because too many times in our communities people are talking about the negative. Now you're educated but who would you like to get props to that educated you? Because you, you got a lot of quotes and sayings that I like. So first it started at home with my parents. I'm a District 13 baby, so I came from a long lineage of just strong educators who didn't believe in children of color, thinking that they were less than, but always gave us the example of how we were always more than. Um, and I went to A. Philip Randolph, and that was just like campus all day. Um, so along the way, they have been such a strong foundation of educators. Um, Store the greatness in all of us and pushed us to be outstanding. As a black female, um, as a young black female, what advice do you have to, um, you know, the elders and the people younger than you? Because you know they say it's, it's never too late to learn or whatever. But um, you know, what advice you have to females or just people in general? So starting with your question in terms of. Let's talk about the gender gap. I think that we can still learn from each other. So we have to be respectful of our elders and understand the lessons that they've gone through um, and see how we can apply it in this new dimension of the 2016. We're still going through the same issues. It might be a different name, a different event, situation, but it's all the same it's a struggle. Um, in terms of what I would say to the younger ones coming up, we got to protect our magic. We are exceptional, exquisite, and significant, and people will always come along the way to take what is ours. When I say that, we have been called to do many things, and we have been made in such a we have been made in such a wondrous fashion that in order for us as women to continue on and be successful, we have to unite. We can't be against each other. We can't be crabs in a barrel um, because that's the way they seem to destroy us. So we have to be in control of that.